Hey guys, Dano here from the Dano Taro Sonic Ensemble. Dose! So I wanted to have, make a quick video about uh, this bass here, the Ibanez UB805. Um, coming up on a year of ownership, it's a five string fretless bass, stand up obviously, upright. Uh, I've really been enjoying it and I've gotten a few comments online on YouTube here about, with some questions and stuff, some comments. Uh, one fella is all about the uh, flat wound strings on this for that Jacko Pastorius vibe and I can't say he's wrong. I haven't switched the strings off yet. Kind of like them the way they sound. I sort of like the strings to have a, a lived in sound for some reason, but I do like flat wound strings uh, on my jazz guitar back here, the uh, Ibanez AS Art Star. I have flatties on there and I really like it. I've been playing them for a long time. So another question I got online was about the weight. Uh, how much does this thing weigh? So I figured the easiest way to do this is to pack it up for the travel kit, right? And like just lifting it, that's not that cool. So uh, let's pack it up for travel. Okay, so we got the base uh, bundled up for travel in the gig bag that it came with. Uh, it's a pretty nice little gig bag. The main base is right here. The uh, stand is right in there. We got the handle. We even have a back strap here. So I would say 10 pounds. It's about 10 pounds. Let's see. Yep, 10 pounds. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, let's go back to regular base mode. And there you go. Uh, 10 pounds. That's what I'm thinking. So the main thing is, how does it sound? How does it feel to play live, right? So um, we've had a few gigs here recently in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So let me just post a little snippet here and you guys can kind of get a feel for what it looks like, what it feels like, what it sounds like live on stage. Let's check this out. All right, so that was just kind of playing it, rocking out, and that was pretty good. My neck kind of hurt after that one, but it was worth it for the rocking. So lastly, I'll just quickly kind of tell you, I'm playing a really basic pedal board here. Nothing too fancy, but I like to have a little mix up of sounds. I like to be able to punch it when our lead guitarist, Yancey, uh, has to rock or be able to play a little bit different like that delay sound. So what I have here, uh, this is the tuner. Everyone likes tuner. Right here we have, this is a, the a Joyo, Hoyo, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the uh, imitation tube screamer. That's how that sounds. I have this real nice envelope pedal. It's a, it's a low end one. This is the Flamma. So that's a nice mix up when I need to get a little bit funky. I have this analog chorus right here again by Flamma. So that's kind of watery, a little bit fishy, as one might say. And then the delay here. Ooh. 
just to kind of mix it up. And then um, the Behringer that I'm playing, the Ultra Bass BX1200, has the foot pedal here. So what I can do is I have the two channels going in. So I have the second one sounding a little bit fatter. So just a little bit of distinction. The first tone cuts a little bit more. And then I also have the ultra bass, and this is what this amp is all about. It sounds better on the higher frets or the higher part of the fingerboard. And then you can also mix that up with the second bass channel. It's almost like an octaving sound, octavizer. So that's what I got going on on the bass pedal side. You know, nothing too fancy, just enough to kind of mix it up a little bit on stage. It's kind of even a lot for me. I like to keep it simple, but I've gotten pretty comfortable with the pedals. And you know what they say, it's like, you don't need the best gear, you just need to know your gear. And so that's what I'm doing. No one really ever gets to see these pedals except for you guys. <laughs> So thanks for watching this. I appreciate all the comments. And hey, if you guys who are playing this, leave some comments. Tell me what you got or how you play or send some links to your video, man. Let's, uh, let's keep going with this UB805 community. Bueno, bye. And don't forget, DOS!